Hi, this is Caroline Murphy with Smarty Pants Mama. Today we're talking dirty remote controls. How often do you clean it? <laughs> as often as most of us, right? You never do. It's something you need to start doing. Research is showing that a remote control has more bacteria than a toilet seat handle and a bathroom door uh, handle. So, yeah. Time to clean it. How do you clean it? You can go really simple. Use a wipey, one of these antibacterial wipes, taking it out and then wiping it down ever so often, you know, once every couple of days on the top, on the bottom, and, and that's going to keep it good, getting in between. I'm a big fan of the Q-tip, getting into the in-between little spots in there. You want something a little bit more intensive. A good bottle of rubbing alcohol can help you. You just dab the end of the Q-tip with a little bit of rubbing alcohol. And then you wipe the inside parts here in between those keys, you know, and you'll start seeing the gook come up. So those are some pretty easy ways to keep that remote control clean. Think of those times your kids are sick, um, you're sick, you're sneezing, you shake someone's hand, and then you hold the remote. Um, these things are, are, are the home of so much bacteria. So go right now. Go clean that remote and put it on your list to do um, at least once a week to at least wipe it down. Right, this is Caroline Murphy with Smarty Pants Mama.